Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Morning everybody, it's Alma getting ready to do some meal prep. So guys, don't freak out, it's not a cleaning episode. This is a meal prep, but geez Louise, this kid, look, <laughs> I swear. Oh my gosh, I've already cleaned the microwave which had oil, oh my gosh, that splattered everywhere from his. Wanna see something else sad? I'll show you something else sad. I always show you the good, let's show you the bad. Today is Saturday, it's Saturday, 10.07. 980 steps. What's going on, slacker? And what do you use to clean your stovetops, guys? Let me tell you, one of the best products you will ever get for getting rid of grease, truly, guys, is this awesome. Stinks to high heaven. You will start coughing, but it does work. It works better than the Myers products. Seriously, it really does. But love this stuff. So this and Clorox. She'll get the job done. All right. Let's get cleaning. Hi, right, so meal prep is coming along. I have a little bit more of the tortilla mix. And guys, this is what it looks like on the plate, all right? What I am using is a soup spoon, and I'm actually filling it up like twice on the plate and then swirling it around. Now, these plates have come in handy, guys. In fact, if you click on the link to my Amazon store, um, you'll find these exact plates in large and small form. I'm gonna go and order the small ones, I'm pretty sure. I think it'll make it a lot easier, uh, especially for determining the size of your tortilla. Michelle uses a um, paper uh, plate, but this is just genius, guys. In fact, you, I have like four of them, some in the dishwasher. I could have just laid them out and then just one after the other. Uh, I've like, got my chicken prepared, so yeah, pretty soon you're gonna see enchiladas. I'm also getting ready to put my bacon in here. Um, uh, can you believe that we're already out of bacon? And uh, I don't know what else we're gonna make, but hey, here we go. All right, guys, we're still in the middle of meal prep. I have made all of my tortillas. I've got my bacon going. I've cut up my chicken. I have shredded up lettuce. Recipe, that's all I can say. And guys, last night, David spoiled me. He brought home some barbecue, and so I chopped up the onions, and I am using their jalapenos on this recipe. I'm getting ready to go to the stove and start making some more of his chocolate. Guys, a mini meal prep is done. I have this coming up on a recipe later on this week. This is some rice cauliflower that I riced. I have leftover chicken from my recipe, so I went ahead and took that chicken and made some chicken salad. Here's all my bacon. Here's my lovely tortillas that are extra. David's chocolate. <laughs> and guys, I gotta admit, this meal prep of the enchiladas, David started eating. So this could easily feed three people, all right? There you go, guys. And remember, add fat, add fat, add fat. Okay, guys, all right, meal prep day two. Here is the um, yummy chocolate I made. And guys, this time I made them smaller pieces. It's 21 each, 42 pieces. So, so really and truly, guys, this can be a really reasonable uh, snack for you. And then here's some chips from yesterday test real quick see if they're as crisp as yesterday let's see oh, just as loud oh just as crispy mm, just as yummy hey everybody what's for dinner well it's gonna be arroz con pollo guys if you haven't checked out that recipe check it out in the upper right hand corner delicious um this is just kind of a what i'm doing today i don't know i don't ever do videos like this anyway Getting ready to do dinner. Um, it's been raining, so I can't do anything on the trail. It is 115, 6,400 steps. I've been playing with the recipe, guys, for the tortillas. And it's very flimsy, which is good, but it's not very stable and consistent as far as how I cook it. So, I don't know, but I do like the fact that it is this flimsy. Check that out. I mean, really and truly. So still playing with it. It's got some soft, some wet spots still where it didn't cook evenly, but we're playing with that. We'll see. And like here's another one, and you can see where it isn't as. So playing with the recipe, got to figure it out. You do need to add fat to this recipe, guys, when you're making it. Um, cook with more bacon drippings. Use sour cream. Avocado will add additional carbs, but you'll also get a good uh, fat with that. 
So I am cooking up these chicken thighs. We'll have leftovers obviously for a few days, which is good. Boo boo. Boo boo, look at that sweet face. Look at that sweet boo dog. Look at that face. You're getting old, boo monkey. You're getting old, boo dog. Alright guys, an update on the chocolate. Oh my gosh, this stuff is delicious. So I made a new batch. I almaized it and made some tweaks to it. But guess what guys? This is a stevia blend. Stevia and erythritol. And Dave is breaking out into a rash again. I think it's that darned erythritol. So I'm going to have to try and make some more. And um, yeah, we'll see. I am going to donate some of this to my friend Mary. And maybe she can give to her daughter, who is also in keto. And uh, they're, I mean, delicious. I, I can't have it all in the house, because I actually really like this version of it. I'm afraid that I'll eat it. So anyway, guys, this recipe is coming up. Let me know if you've had any um, body reactions, rashes, etc., to sugar alcohols, all right? Specifically, erythritol. This, while I was in the kitchen, I decided I'd go ahead and make up some hamburger meat for Matthew, actually taco meat for Matthew. So this chicken is ready to start simmering. I've already cooked both sides. I used this from a recent haul, guys. Today's haul, as a matter of fact. Uh, delicious, truly delicious. 250, when you open it up, you can immediately smell the smokiness of it. Oh, really good. All right, so, the lid on it, be back. All right, guys, I've got a few minutes while the food is cooking, and I'm gonna check out some of my friends' vlogs over here. Guys, let me ask you a question. When you're in your house, how many lights do you have on? How many lights do you have on? I might have been a vampire in a previous life, if previous lives existed. I don't know. I don't really have an opinion on it, but I like darkness. Look how dark it is. You think I'm a vampire, right? Ignore the mess. Let me show you something while I'm over here. Let me show you this, guys. Check it out. I got this for Matthew, because I thought maybe he wouldn't destroy my pots and pans. It's the um, Gotham cooking, and it comes with a basket for frying, since he's on his frying kick. Hey, Boo Dog. <laughs> and Booley's over here. So I thought he would... Hey, Boo Doo. <laughs> hey, Boo Boo. Thank you. And so I thought maybe he would use it. He hasn't used it yet. Oh my gosh, it's hard to get him back up. All right, so here we are, kitchen table, gonna check out some vlogs. I'm sure you guys are subbed to all these people, but let me tell you this while we're talking about it. Shout yourself out, guys, all right? If you have a YouTube channel and you're watching this video, and the only way you'll know about this is if you're watching this video. Anyway, if you're watching this video, shout yourself out a brief description about what type of channel you have invite my viewers over to see you and uh yeah let's just continue to grow our keto family guys whew, she's been working honey so here's the taco meat here is the tribe i cut up some celery i've uh riced my cauliflower i left some pieces out for daisy i've got my cilantro going on and then over here we have our chicken i have some onions i'm not using all of this i'll probably use about a third of this store the rest of it for um, a recipe for tomorrow and there we go david's gonna be home in a little bit and we might have a chat with david what came in the mail today guys let me show you b12 I think daddy's home. B12. Yep, this is what I inject with, guys. Uh, but when you're B12, but when you're B12 deficient, you need it. Oh, cut my nails off too, guys. Can you see that? Yeah. And I get the methyl cobalamin because that is actually the best um, form of injectable B12. If you're doing it orally, guys, make sure you're doing something that goes under the tongue. They sell a nasal version of it. That's prescription, guys. That prescription is like four hundred dollars. Crazy. So I buy this and uh, a nurse taught me how to do my injections and I give them to myself now. Yep, methylcobalamin. And chicken is done. Doesn't that look good? It's working out great. I just have it on higher heat now, letting it absorb a little bit. And uh, yummy, dinner will be served soon. All right, so dinner is almost served. Guess who walked in? Hi. <laughs> it's David and it's Daisy. She just got to eat some cauliflower honey. Yeah. You wanna share your scale this morning? I was 184. Point nine pounds. Yay! So how much total weight loss is that? About nine, isn't it? Almost ten now. Almost ten. Yeah. Yeah. In a very short work is never done. About I would say about a three week period, wouldn't you say? It's probably between 
a month, a month and well, a month and five weeks. As soon as I stop drinking a quart of half and half every night. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> right? It got a lot but better. You know, okay, you always talk about portion control. You didn't specify how big of a portion on the half and half. <laughs> no, I drink that much is a hole in hole. Exactly. So, honey, how do you feel about this dish? Uh, I'm ready to tear into it as soon as it's ready. Did you like the last batch that I, I made? I really did. It was yeah. really good, right? So I, I got to tell you guys out there something. My wife is a culinary genius. You're she sweet. is coming up with things right now that You're I just sweet. could never ever dreamed of. You're sweet. So is Daisy. Daisy's like, "Mama, can I have some?" No, you just ate some. You just ate some. All right, Mister, you ready to eat? I'm ready to eat. Yeah. Lay it on me. I will. I'm gonna put it in my 184.9 pound frame and. How do you feel though, babe? Uh, I feel good. Yeah? Yeah, I feel really... I feel How did you feel while you were still eating your carbs? Uh, pudgy. Because you went off the rails big time. Yeah, I, I did. I, I, was, I had a lot of brain fog. And um, now I'm, I'm, my mood is lighter most of the time. <laughs> my mood is lighter and I've lost my brain fog. I'm, I've got more mental clarity and um, I'm doing good. Yeah. So what are you enjoying every day? What do you take a swig of every day? My Himalayan sea salt. Yeah, so he does the Soleil and he also just takes it straight. I just eat it. I like the way it crunches. <laughs> He's a weird one. I am. I think we're going to wrap. Oh, but you know what? I, 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 what? I drink it in my coffee. I, I put it, I grind up four little twists, put it in my coffee with a little squirt of caramel. Yeah. With the uh, stevia and uh, then I drink that with a little coconut oil in there and I swig that down and at the bottom I have crunchy little salts. <laughs> there you go. Hey hon, uh, tell me about your rash. Uh, yeah, well. Mainly uh, on your thighs. On the thigh, well, no, it's, uh, it's on my thighs and, and uh, where I always get it, you know, at the top of my, at the bottom of my back. Yeah. I was going to say the top of my butt, but <laughs> the bottom of my back and on my legs and on my feet where I've always gotten rashes. Yeah. And uh, Daisy. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. She's so Daisy. sweet, isn't she? Oh, you're cute. Um, and so what do we think that's from? The ethereal or whatever it was. Ethereal <laughs> erythritol. Oh, yeah, the, the, what is it? Erythritol. 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 Yeah, it was. I think it's the erythritol. So I'm gonna try and make that chocolate for you with stevia only, no yeah. erythritol. I'm gonna try that because it, it it seemed like it was worse after I ate the fudge with the erythritol. But it's some it. darn good fudge, isn't it? Yeah, except yeah. for the rash. It's except not worth the rash. It, nothing's worth the rash. Nothing's worth the yeah. rash. And by the way, David has a video that he will be doing very soon on vitamins and his regimen and uh, that he swears by it. And I wish I was as good as David is about taking his vitamins. He's very good. Very disciplined. All right, guys. I'm not disciplined. I'm desperate. That's true, too. All right, guys. We're going to say bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed our day at home. And dinner's on. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.